This time we're visiting the Rajnov Citadel and its panoramic views over the Transylvanian region. We'll show you how to get there and what to expect when you arrive, so stick with us. Brazhnov is about a 15 km drive from the large medieval city of Brazhnov that we visited in a previous video, so make sure you check that one out top right now. We hired a car, but you can get to the town by bus from Brazhnov hourly using Transbus called Dreamu, probably said that wrong, or taking a train, both cost around £3. You could even do it by taxi in 25 minutes for £10. Arriving in Rajnov, you catch glimpses of the citadel through the streets towering over the town. If you arrive by foot, a funicular will take you up. In the car, you need to make your way to the car park on the other side of the fortress. Before travelling, we were made aware that it's not possible to visit the inside of the citadel now, as it's just recently closed for three years for extensive renovations from February 2020. This does mean that the majority of the visitors stay away, but you can still walk around the outside of the building taking in the views. The parking attendant will take 20 lei from you and will probably not mention that it's closed. It's a 15 minute walk uphill from the car park to the fortress gates. There is a horse and cart service for 10 lei each way if you don't fancy this or you've got mobility issues. The citadel sits proudly over the Rajnov town and is roughly halfway between Bran and Brazhov. It was no coincidence that it was positioned in this location. It provided a high altitude viewing post across the surrounding area as part of the Transylvanian defense system for the low-lying villages and part of an early warning system from invading armies heading from the Bran Pass leading through to Brazhov. It was believed that the fortress was built around 1220 and has been involved in many battles during the centuries. Rajnov lay in the way of Hungarian revolutionaries and the Austrian imperial troops in 1848, leading to the locals taking refuge in the citadel and leading them to eventually turn it into a permanent place of residence. There is an interesting story about the well in the centre of the fortress. Back in 1623 and in the absence of any internal water source, it was decided to start and dig a well in the rocky soil. The legend says that the residents made two Turkish prisoners dig the well for which they would regain their freedom. The captives dug for 17 years to complete it. No one knows if they were actually freed. The well was in full use until 1850 when a broken wheel in the well caused it to be abandoned. Standing next to the Rajnov Hollywood sign, you get spectacular views over the region, even on a blustery grey day. You can see why this fortress was an important stronghold. This boardwalk connects to the funicular we mentioned earlier. Guests arriving by foot from the lower town entrance use this service. Not working today, of course, due to the renovations.
Let's take a look at some stunning aerial shots taken on a much better day so you can appreciate just how beautiful this fortress is. We hope you enjoyed our guide. We have lots more on our channel, so consider subscribing and join our adventures. We upload new content every week. Till the next time when we visit Brand Dracula Castle, happy travels from the Memory Seekers.